good afternoon, good evening. God bless you, depending on your time zone. My name is Pastor Yemi Omoboyega, your regular friend on YouTube. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Please press the notification button so that you get to know when we upload new videos. Pass your comments as you consider fit. Like our videos and share our videos widely. Then press the um, notification button so that you get to know when we upload new videos. God bless you now. Um, we want to talk on just a moment. Um, the word of God or, okay, salvation is not for sale. Yeah. Salvation is not for sale. Um, from what is happening in our churches all over the place, especially the Pentecostal movement, and even some from in some Orthodox churches too, the Word of God is being commercialized and it's not supposed to be so. It's not supposed to be so at all. You are not to pay for miracles. You are not to pay for thanksgiving. You are not to pay for testimonies that you are giving in the church of God. You are not to pay for um, what are there so many things? So many, okay. The styles differ from churches to churches. Some will tell you um, because you slept and woke up, you have to pay money. Um, for you to make it in life, you have to pay money. That is why they will tell you, you cannot prosper unless you pay tight. They will also tell you, things will be tight for you. God's prosperity for you in life comes from the basis of Deuteronomy 28, obeying Deuteronomy 28, 10 to 14. God promised that he will set the rains at the right time. So you are expected to sow. And when you sow, God will prosper that you are sowing. And that sowing will yield so much that you have abundance, bumper harvest. And you will sell, it will be, they will, the harvest will become materials of sale value. Remember the Elijah, Elijah, Elijah story now. What do you have that is of, that is of sale value? Those bumper harvests become of sale value. And then you make your money and you keep repeating that. And God keeps blessing your work and you become prosperous. To the point that God went further. You shall be the head and not tail. And you have, you'll be so financially prosperous as a result of the sales that you make. That you will have no need to borrow. Instead, you will be a lender unto nations. You have labored. God has prospered that work of yours. Say, I will bless all the work of your hands. Take note of that. I will bless all. It is the work of your hand that God wants to be blessed. If there are one million works, if you are a multitasker, for instance, you are a multi-investor, you are a multi-skilled person who is into many professions. Some bringing money passively, some bringing actively. You will really prosper. This is where you get your prosperity from. It is not the tithe you pay. It's even out loud. I've always maintained this. Hebrews 7, chapter, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 5. And, of course, Hebrews 7, Verse 22, where Christ shorted a new covenant that took over the law. 
which therefore over, over, I mean, that removed the, the legal approach to our relationship with God, teeth for that, or you do this to get this. No. The only thing you do now is you work. Of course, you pray. I'm not saying you shouldn't pray. You pray because it's God that can bless the work and he has promised to bless. If you obey that one, he will fulfill his own path. God is so faithful. So, the salvation of your soul, which the spiritual thing is all about, is not for sale. For God so loved the world. It is the love of God that gave us salvation, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Didn't say you will pay money. Because the practice is all over the place. You want to see next year, you pay. Your first fruit of the year, you give to the church, and so on and so forth. Take note, salvation is not for sale. When they ask you to pay those things, take note that you are not doing it to attract God's favor. God does his favors for you. I hope I've said something. Memory, the memory of the phone has gone off now, so let's stop here. We can expatiate on it later. God bless you. Have a very wonderful day. Bye.